Dive into it. No place to put that And you know, after being six hours on the Get your fucking ass down there, buddy. You want to get your fucking shit done and get your fucking shit kicked in. Get the fuck out. You know what you need is a helmet that's made like a top ranger. Like Dave Lincoln. Like one that got like the, you know? You got cash? Yeah. If you give me 30 bucks on this, I'm going charge you the extra tax. That works for me. I don't know if I like the sound of that. <laughs> Hey everyone, you are listening to Vocalo Radio in Chicago. I'm Jesse Menendez, my in-studio guests, collectively known as Whore, individually, the OGM and ED. Gentlemen, thank you so much for making time. Yo, thanks for having us. When you guys take the stage, who's in the audience? What does a Whore fan look like, if you could even pin that down? It's just a Old wide people, young people. spectrum. You could be gay, you could be lesbian, you could be a transgender Freak. woman, man. You could, hey, you could you be know. a punk, you can, like you said, we get everybody to the shows from kids to old folk you know you can come into our show and look in the crowd and just see a sea of different people hey my old my man jay jay come here let me get your camera right quick this is a beautiful good man a part of the band and this is a hell of a good band so you gonna see you tonight you'll see me hey Pia, baby all right have a good one and lows and uh my manager gave me this as a present so every day i, I get into my beautiful bunk and, and i see this magnificent creature here big robbie is a part of my waking up every day you know this is a part of waking up and steve harvey is a part of waking up I can smoke on the street over here? Probably not, but I'm going to do it. I heard they got zero cops out here. Yeah, 
I mean, Pops got bigger fish to fry. How did this sound develop? Who did you come in contact with that allowed you to believe you can do whatever the hell you want and say whatever the hell you want without fitting into any constraint? Was it the, the two of you? Yeah, I mean, you know, vibing off each other where we came from. I showed him some stuff he didn't know. He taught me some stuff I had no idea how to do. And, you know, just the scene and, and the people and the music around us at the time, it, it really gave us inspiration and, and confidence and, and faith to do what we do and just make it our own way. You know, living in New Jersey, we will always go to New York, Brooklyn, LES, and go to punk shows. I, I would bring him to punk shows because it was just blowing my mind at the time when I first found out about it. And and I was like, yo, you, you got to come check this shit out, man. This shit is crazy. We didn't grow up in the suburbs, and being where we from, looking how we look, dressing how we dress, making the kind of music we we make, we get looked at different than other black folk in our neighborhood. So, and we went through the same struggle. We went through the same thing. We grew up in poor homes, rats and roaches in our living room. Turning on the light, you see roaches scattering. That shit is real, man. Not having hot water having to boil the water on the stove and then put it in the bathtub, you know, it's real things we live, you know. 
it's just our, our mind is expanded growing up and we, we chose different avenues to instead of staying on a block and joining a gang and selling drugs and going that route. <laughs>